Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming my um, birthday haul. It was my birthday three days ago on the 27th of January, um, although it might not be three days when I post this, but either way, I promised you guys that I would do a 19th birthday haul. Yes, I did just turn 19, and um, a lot of you guys wanted to see some of the stuff that I got. I didn't get anything major this year because... Well, like, it's just 19, and plus I didn't really need anything. All I got was some clothes, some makeup, and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, I'll just get on to showing you guys, and I apologize if you can hear all my, um, my little babies munching, aka my guinea pigs, they're just having breakfast. So, <laughs> if you can hear this little, like, munching noise, I'm really sorry, they're just having their vegetables. So, yeah, let's just get on to the video. Okay, so, um, I got all my stuff in this cute little bag here that I'll probably end up throwing out once I've worn all my shit, but I have this weird thing where, like, I won't get rid of my bag until I've, like, worn everything at least once. It's this weird thing. I don't know why I do it, but, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, first thing I will just show you and tell you about is something you guys have seen. Um, it's a birthday present from my best friend. I got the Urban Decay Naked Palette 3, and I will just notify you that I've done a review and a haul thing on this so I will link my review on the naked palette down below but that was pretty much a birthday present too. Another thing that I got from my best friend too was um this huge nail polish holder thing that goes on my wall. Um, I haven't put it up yet because like I told you in my past video we might be relocating and moving houses so I'm gonna wait until we're at a new place but um yeah it's this really cool um big steel um nail polish holder and because I've got this huge bag full of nail polish that weighs like 50 kilos I thought um, she thought it would be a nice gesture to get me that um, and that was um, something that I didn't know she was actually gonna get me so um yeah I'm pretty happy with that I'll insert a picture now for you guys to see um, but yeah it's really cute and um, I can't wait to mount it on my wall anyway get on to the stuff now that was from my mother and father so I guess um because we're kind of on makeup basis I'll show you just three makeup products that I got um, they're all NYX products by the way, um, uh, my mum got me this Stay Matte But Not Flat NYX Foundation Powder in, um, SMP number 2, Nude, sorry, it's like weird because I haven't had a NYX, like, set powder before, but anyway, it's in this box here, looks like this, and, um, it says Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation, and, um, I really like the packaging, it's really cute, it's like really sturdy and, really nice and um, I'll just show you inside it has a really nice little mirror it's kind of reminds me of like the MAC powder foundation packaging um, sorry about that um, but yeah it's just this nude really light um, coverage it's not a really heavy powder I'd say it still leaves some shine on my face um, I do like it though it lasts pretty well during the day but um, when I'm like out and about um, I find that I do need to touch it up more than some of my other powders, but it does keep you matte but not flat, as it says. It's like, um, yeah, it gives you still like kind of a dewy finish, but your foundation doesn't move. So I do like the set powder. It's really good. Um, I've been using it every day since I got it, and um, the package is really cool. And one thing I'm actually happy about is it didn't come with one of those stupid sponges that everyone just throws out anyway. So, yeah, um, I really like this. So the next two things that I got from NYX were two lipsticks, um, and they're both the matte lipsticks. Um, I like the packaging of these two because these are the first ever NYX lipsticks that I've really got. I've got like all the NYX butter glosses and um, the matte ones and stuff of them, but um, um, this is my first time having a lipstick. This one is in the color um, MLS number 4, and it's called Pale Pink. And um, it looks like this here. It's a really nice pale pink, as it says. And um, on the lips, it's really like icy and cool. It's really nice. It kind of reminds me a bit of Max, like Saint Germain, except it's just it's a really nice like icy color pink. And I really like it with my complexion. It kind of like it matches the top of my hair um, better than normal lipsticks. And my hair is a bit paler than usual today because I need to retie it. But um, it's just a really nice lipstick, and it um, matches my complexion really nice. I don't know if you say so you were really tan it might look a bit weird but um because I'm so pale it works for me so I really like that and um one thing I find is that they're matte but they're very creamy like they look matte but they don't feel matte so um you do need to kind of reapply them because they're not like the max mattes when they're on they're on and they stay put um but I still do like them they're really nice and they're less harsh on the lips it's like 
the MAC like retro mattes and stuff. They're quite um, tough on the lips, but um, I do like them. And this one, I haven't actually worn on my lips yet. This one is MLS number 6 um, in Summer Breeze. It's another pink color. But this one's quite like a mauve like medium tone pink. And um, this one's really pretty. You can see them side by side. It looks like this. It's really nice to get, like kind of a mauve pink. It's nothing too out there, but it's still quite a bright pink. It's really nice. I can't wait to have this one on my lips. Um, I don't know why I haven't tried it yet, but yeah, they're my two NYX lipsticks. I really like these so far, you guys. Now on to clothing things. I got a fair few clothing items. Um, so first one I will show you is, oh my god, it's like, ugh. I didn't put it back in the bag very nice. <laughs> anyway, I wore this one yesterday and um oh my god, it's inside out. It's this um <clears throat> tiger shirt and it's got a tiger on it saying um what does it say? Jungle fever and it's really pretty, really loose and flowy, um really thin, so it's like great for summer and it's got these really nice like studs on the shoulder. So I really like this. It's really bright and colorful like typical me. Um, yeah, it's really pretty and I like how it's kind of like a tattered sort of look, so this is a really nice top that I got. The next thing I'll show you guys is this, um, like a blazer thing, I guess you could say, a blazer. Um, and yeah, it's like this, it's like a denim blazer thing. You could have it done up and like have the collar really high or you could have it undone just over things. Again, I like it because the like, sleeves like got that tatty kind of finish. And um, it's just really awesome. I'd be able to like grunge up this outfit, I mean this vest really well. And also I could wear it with my more um, prettier pastel kind of clothes. But I really like this, it's really good quality too. So yeah, it's a really cute vest. The next thing is this peplum top, and I really love it because it's got my most favorite, like, zoo animal on it, which is elephants. Um, I want so badly to work with elephants one day, I'm not even joking you, I love them so much. Um, but it's got these, like, tribal printed elephants on it, and it's just so pretty, so thin, and I love peplums because they're actually really flattering on my figure because I'm quite big busted, and I have quite a small waist, and because I'm kind of a larger girl, it cinches me in really nice, so... I really like this. It's really cute. My next top is this one here, and it is this really thin, like, sheer chiffon floral top. I've got a few tops kind of like the same kind of shape as this, and I really like them. Um, you can wear them with, like, skater skirt and with anything, really, with leggings, and um, they're not that sheer where you can't, like, just... That, that you can still wear just a bra on them because you can't really see much but um, it's really cute, it's like really pastel it's got these beautiful like rose type flowers on it and it's like this really cute creamy yellow and I love the back because the back has this really cute like little bow and um, it kind of parts out if you guys can see that so it's really cute, perfect for summer um, and I can't wait to wear this because I haven't worn it yet and I think it will look really nice with my hair <laughs> a few things are dresses um, and I'll show you this one, I guess. Um, this one is just this really cute bow dress. It's like all netted at the top um, and it cinches in at the waist. So I think it'll be really flattering. It's a good length on me actually because because I'm so short, I find like when I buy dresses, they're actually way too long for my liking because I like stuff, of course, like above the knee um, because I'm young. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> but um, yeah, it seems like it's a really good length for my height. Um, it feels really nice, really flowy, really good quality. It's got like the under layering and it's just got these cute bows. The color's really nice. It's like this lavender blue purple. Um, it kind of looks on my camera like it looks more blue, but um, yeah, this is really cute. I can't wait to try this one. My next dress I will show you guys is this like really cool grunge bikey kind of dress is what I think of it. It's got like a hole here above the breast -ses. And it's got like this faux leather like quilted pattern pattern. It's like quite a skin hugging type dress, but um it's like it seems really nice. It's got like all fake leather going down the sides and stuff. I hope like my camera's giving this justice, you guys. But it seems really nice. Again, I haven't worn this one, but I think it's gonna look really cool with like especially in winter with like kind of like a gothic lip and or a smoky eye, um, with some boots. Like it's a really cute dress. Oh, and there's a top. 
um, that I actually forgot to show you guys. Um, so I'm just going to add a top in here. <laughs> Um, and it's just this, um, sequined black, and again, peplum, because my mum knows I love peplum tops. Um, and it's just, like, looks like a really nice shape. Um, it feels really good. And the back's really cute because it comes to, like, a V, if you guys can see that. Um, but yeah, another really nice peplum top. Peplum's, like, my favourite types of shirts, so, yep. And last but not least is my final dress. And, um, I actually wore this one on my birthday, so you guys might have seen me wearing this in my photos and stuff that I posted on my birthday. It's this really pretty, bright, like, um, blue aqua collar, um, lace floral print dress with these, like, purple, um, roses on it. It's really pretty. It's quite flattering on my body, too. Um, comes to a good length again. Um, um, yeah, I just really like it. It's really pretty and it's nice and flowy and cool. Um, I just really like this dress. This is like probably my most favorite out of the bunch. It's just typical girly lace dress and you can, again, dress it up or dress it down. Um, so yeah, good for every day and good for like going out. So yeah. So that is it you guys for my birthday haul. Um, I had a great birthday. I didn't actually do much. I kind of just stayed at home because, um, yeah. I didn't really want to do anything, so you might call me grump or sado, but you know what, I, I spend time with my family and that's all that really mattered, like I'm 19, it's not like 18 or 21, so my next big bash will probably be like 21 or something, but um, yeah, overall it was a really good day, I had lots of fun, because um, family's so important to me, it was great that I just got to spend time with my family, and um, yeah, I loved all the gifts that I got, um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, even tell me what your favorite product that I got um, was because I always love hearing you guys' feedback. Um, I've got to start doing Q&As, you guys, so leave some comments down below of questions you want to ask me or anything like that. Um, I will respond to them in my Q&A video that I will be doing soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Um, check out my links down below. Have a fantastic day.